Hi everybody, welcome to Nerdx channel. I received some questions asking about how to create device drivers and how to do the board initialization to use these drivers and how to create a real-time application on Nerdx. So, in order to do something like that, we need first understand how Nerdx is organized. So, I decided to create this video to help you to understand that. So, let's get started. This image shows the Nerdx driver organization. First, we have the microcontroller or microprocessor and its peripheral. On top of that, we have the lower half drivers. These are the drivers specific for each microcontroller or microprocessor. For example, the STM32 SPI driver, the STM32 I2C and CANBUS and so on. On top of the lower half, we have the upper half drivers. These are generic drivers. For example, the network, the graphics, serial, SPI sensor, I2C sensor, SD, MMC memory card and so on. During the board initialization process, Nerdx initializes the microcontroller specific peripheral drivers and associates it to generic upper half drivers. And then the generic driver creates a device file in the virtual file system. And then the Nerdx application will open this driver and will interact with the peripheral or the device. Now that you know how the Nerdx driver is organized, I will show where you can find these drivers. Inside Arch, we have the microcontroller initialization code and also the lower half drivers. For example, inside Arch, ARM, SRC, STM32, we have all the lower half drivers to STM32 peripherals drive, peripherals device. Inside drivers, we have the upper half drivers for each generic peripherals and sensors and so on. And inside configs, we have the board initialization code. For example, the STM32F4 discovery board is here. And inside the SRC, we have the board initialization used to associate the lower half to the upper half drivers. So, for example, this file here is used to initialize the STM32 I2C lower half and associate it with the BPM 180 sensor. So, this board initialization file will initialize the STM32 I2C and we will associate this I2C with the upper half driver BMP180. So basically that is it. I hope you had enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to Nerdx channel yet, please subscribe and click in the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. See you. Bye bye.